children good morning how are you all fine okay so children today we are going to study poem 6 hayavata of class 4 okay so what is the name of the poet of the poem henry wordsworth law fellow the poet's name is henry wordsworth the law fellow okay so now see here long fellow was born on february 27 1807 when was the uh, long fellow born henry long fellow was born on february 27 1807 okay he attended a uh, dam school at the age of 3 and was enrolled by age 6 at the primary portland academy when he went to the school first when he was of 3 years at that time he attained a dam school school name was a dam school at the age of 3 years and then he was enrolled by age 6 at the primary at portland academy at the age of 6 when did the henry uh, henry wordsworth long fellow went he went at the primary portland Academy. Okay. Now he published his first poem in the Portland Gazette on November seventeen, eighteen twenty. When did he uh, publish his first poem? He published his first poem, Portland Gazette. What was the name of the poem? Poem's name was Portland Gazette on November seventeen, eighteen twenty. When did he publish? He published on November. 17 in the year 1820 a patriotic and a historical four stanza poem called the battle of novels on what was the name of the poem he published the poem on november 17 1820 the poem poem's name was battle of novels on how many stanzas poem was it in the stanza four stanza poem okay so this is a small description about the poem henry poet henry wordsworth longfellow okay children so now today we are going to study this poem okay so see on the first line page number here your poem 6 is first line hayapatha was a young red indian boy he lived with the old grand with his old grandmother no comes in a way well so children what is the meaning of red indian here meaning of red indian is there are they are basically native means people born in america people which are born in america that are known as red indians people of india call them a red indians okay now see on the next line here see again the they are basically called native indians means people born in america red indian was the term was used by by europeans who used this name europeans contributed to coronacity for native americans based on their color why they are called as a red indians they are called red indians as they are native of america and based on their colors okay children now see next nokomi taught hayavata about the wonders around them nokomi who is nokomi children her mother or his mother her grandmother's name was nokomi so nokomi taught hayavata about the wonders around them she told him about the stars the trees the insects the birds the animals and many other things what did nokomi taught to the hayavata nokomi taught hayavata about the nature of the beauty of the nature right the plants the birds the insects animal around them okay hayavata grew up to love them all so he could talk to the birds and animals and they to him what did nokomi taught to hayavata nokomi taught about the beauty of the nature to whom to hayavata hayavata grew up to love them all as the time 
passed away children when the hayabata grew and he loved to all to whom he loved he loved to the birds insects and the nature around him and they loved him and the birds and animals who were there they also loved to hayabata okay now see in the next stanza then the little hayabata learned of every bird and its language learned their names and all their secrets how they build their nests in summer where they did hide themselves in the winter talked with them wherever he made them called them hayabata's chicken now see here next stanza on the first line then the little hayabata learned of every bird's language then what he learned when he grew up who grew up when hayabata grew up he learned every bird's language how they talk and hayabata also understood the language of the birds okay he learned their names and their secrets what did hayabata learn he learned the birds names and their secrets what were their secrets their secrets was how they build their nest in the summer how the birds built their nests in the summer that also learned who learned and hayabata learned the birds secret how the birds built their nests in the summer and when it is a winter season when when all were cold at that time where did the birds hide that also hayabata learned where did they hide themselves in the winter talk with them whenever he met them called them hayabata's chicken when he made to the birds when he talk to them what he call to the birds he call them hayabata's chicken okay children now see on the next page stanza 3 see first line of all beasts he learned the language he learned the language beasts means here is insects learn their names and their secrets he learned the names of the animals birds and insects and learned their secrets also and their language and their names also okay how the beavers built their lodges where the squirrels hide in their acorns so children what is the meaning of beavers meaning of beavers means a semi aquatic broad tail rodent here the meaning of the beaver means a semi aquatic broad tail rodent okay children and lodges means house how they built their house and where the squirrel hid in the acorns what is the meaning of acorn acorn means a fruit of an oak tree have you seen the oak tree children a fruit of an oak tree is known as acorn okay so children at a squirrel hid in their acorns okay how the reindeer ran so swiftly swiftly means quickly and reindeer means a deer with long horns a deer who has very long horns it is known as reindeer okay so how red reindeer ran so swiftly how quickly he can run why the rabbit was so timid what is the meaning of timid children timid means frightened rabbit was very frightened talk with them wherever he meet them call the hayabata's brother when he meet to reindeer and rabbit squirrels and birds and animals at that time he called the rabbit and reindeer what did hayabata call to them hayabata called them a hayabata's brother okay children so clear the poem okay so we will